Hey, this is Tab from FreeFly, and I want to give you a quick introduction on Majestic Mode and how to effectively use Majestic Mode for single operator usage of the Movi to get great shots. Um, so Majestic Mode is what we refer to as the way to control the Movi using the handles. Um, this is a patented technology we've come up with uh, that allows you to intuitively control pan and tilt. So I just want to briefly talk through the different aspects of Majestic Mode. So we've got the smoothing parameter, which dictates how much smoothing is applied when you pan and tilt. We've got the window, which dictates how much movement you can do on pan and tilt in the handles before the Movi starts to follow. And then we've got the two dis discrete modes for tilt. Um, we've got Majestic Angle, which means the Majestic Mode on tilt will, f will act in the same way pan does, where it'll follow your moves. Or we've got Smooth Lock, like, like we're showing here, where I can move and tilt and the camera will stay locked on target. Um, on smooth lock, I do have the ability to reframe the tilt manually and it'll hold that the last frame that I leave it at. So let's dive in and talk a little specifics. Um, smoothing, so we've got a pan smoothing of 10 and you can see how it's following right now. I'll take this down to a pan smoothing of three and you can see it's following even more active. So the lower the figure, the less smoothing. The higher the figure, the more smoothing. Uh, I'll take it up to I'll take it up to 50 as a demo. So there's a pan smoothing of 50, and as you can see, I can put in a lot of pan input before it starts to move, and it ramps into the move very smooth and elegant. So this this is useful for long lens work and things like that, where you want to have really really con accurate control fidelity of the pan and tilt axis. Let's talk about window for a second. So pan window. We've got set to a setting of 10 right now, which means I can go back and forth on the handles 10 degrees before it'll start to follow my pan. I can ramp that up. You can see I'm at 30 now, and I can move substantially in the handles, and it's not doing anything. And then once I hit a point, a 30 degree point, it'll start to follow. And coupled with the really high pan smoothing that I've got set, I've got the ability to really accurately point the movie right now. And the ability to move the handles substantially before it starts to follow. So I'd like to show tilt mode now. We're in smooth lock. So you can see I can set any tilt I want and it'll stay there. This particular mode is really useful for uh, shooting situations in which you know you're going to get jostled around a lot and you want it to hold that constant tilt. Um, some examples of that that have seen kind of funny ones, uh, riding on horseback, riding on camels, riding on motorcycles, chase vehicles, hanging out of the back of a pickup truck, chasing behind somebody where you know you're going to be bouncing around and running, uh, getting pretty wild and you don't want all that, all that movement to get to the camera. So if we switch to Majestic Angle, you can see now tilt's following the moves. So to, to expound on the previous example, if I were running in Majestic Angle and inputting moves like this, those moves would be smoothly and subtly getting through to the camera, which in a lot of, a lot of instances we don't want. So I'll go back to smooth lock. I want to give an example setup that I really like for just kind of general camera work. I like to take the, the smoothing parameters on pan and tilt really high, like a 50, and take the window really low, like we'll say a 2 for now. Okay. So I've got pan and tilt smoothing at 50. So you can see it really smooths out all the moves I do, but because the window is so small, it's really accurately following my moves. So this gives me the ability to really frame precisely, but take out all the bumps that I don't want. Um, I find this to be a really useful all around shooting configuration. And then when I, want, when I need to get really thrown around and don't want that camera movement going through to the camera, I'll take and increase the windows. Um, so I think that's a good introduction on how to use uh, majestic mode as a single operator effectively. If you can learn these these five settings that you really need to master, you can provide a you know variety of s configurations that allow you to shoot almost anything and accurately and precisely control the movie. So, good luck and uh, let us know how the shooting goes and what particular majestic mode settings you come up with that you find useful. Thanks.